Guys, if you're using your Windows PC or your Windows laptop and the SD card is not detecting, what can you do about it? Well, there are two methods to this. First one, you want to go to device manager. To go to device manager, you can just press start and type in device manager. Open device manager. And as you can see, you are logged on as a standard user. So if you're not an admin user, you may not be able to do a lot of things in device manager, but we will bypass that. I'll show you how. Click on OK. And here you can see we have device manager under device manager we have bluetooth batteries audio everything that is related every hardware that is related to your windows 11 pc or your laptop but we want to go to universal serial bus controllers in this case it is the last option it may be somewhere in between depending on how your laptop or your pc is set up click on the small arrow and here you can see the Intel USB 3 extensible host controller, which is the generic host control controller in this uh, Windows 11 device is disabled for whatever reason it is disabled. So how do you enable that? Just click on it, right click on it again, go to properties and in properties. Now you want to click on change settings. So change settings has a shield beside it, which essentially is saying that you need admin access for this. So you don't necessarily have to go and change the user. You just have to click on change settings and then this will pop up in this window. You want to go to driver, click on driver and in driver, you can see this device is currently disabled. Thus enable device is an option. If the device is already enabled, it will say disable device. So click on enable device, click on OK. And here you can see this device is now enabled. Alternatively, there might also be a driver update that is causing this issue. So just again, right click on the same driver, click on properties, go to driver, click on change settings and go to driver. And under this tab, you have an option to update driver. Click on update driver. If you already have a driver file that is downloaded, you can just go to browse my computer for drivers or you can have it automatically search for drivers. Let's search for drivers automatically. In this case, it is already installed. So if there are any driver updates, it will download and install post this procedure. So let's try plugging my SD card in and let's just see if it is now detecting. So as you can see, as soon as I put in the SD card, it is now being detected and now I can work with whatever I need to do. So let's close this because my SD card is working. If after all this, the SD card is not working, it, there might be an issue with the SD card. If you're using an SD card reader, there might be an issue with the reader or there also might be an issue with the USB port itself. So you may want to put the SD card into some other PC or a laptop and check out that way as well. Guys, if you like the video, drop a like, share and subscribe.